What is up guys, Zach Scott here doing a reaction to the Splatoon 3 Direct that Nintendo released. I of course have played Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 extensively on my channel. I will be playing Splatoon 3, so be sure to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Uh, I even got to S Plus and all the modes in Splatoon 2 in preparation. I'm excited about this, this is about 30 minutes or so long. So let's sit back, relax, and uh, I'll commentate as they talk. This is Splatsville, in the heart of the Splatlands. Nice. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. Oh, hello everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. Okay, the basics. They've been studying their biology day and night. All right, so a little intro to what Splatoon is. Today, we'd like to share some new findings on these inklings while providing summaries throughout. Let's do it. <laughs> of course, what goes for the inklings also applies to the octolings. That's why I like to play. We're sure of it. First, Turf War. Classic. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, Turf War battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Oh, that's a cool view. Can we get a view like that in the game? Like, a spectator mode would be so cool. Now, that's not all inking is for. Like that, like way up bird's eye Ink view. walls to swim up. So, so right now they're or going- get sneaky and hide in ink to splat opponents. Yeah, right now they're going over the basics of the game, the which- more ink you spread. Which is the fine. The the advantage you'll have in battles. Because what's gonna happen is they are gonna pick up new players it, with this game. Submerge in it to refill. New techniques like the squid surge to swim up walls. Oh, that's in a cool. Burst. So that is new. And the squid roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around. Have oh also wow. Been okay. So the, so the movement's gonna be a little more advanced. The squid roll's gonna be really interesting. Oh, while it's glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink from opponents. Huh. That's a bit of an advanced We've movement. Where these turf war battles will take place. That's gonna be hard to get used to. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include... Maybe not. Scorch Gorge. This is new. Eel Tail Alley. New. Mincemeat Metalworks. New. And Undertow Spillway. All right, those are all new, right? There seem to be other stages as well. Hagglefish Market. I think that's new. Appear filled to the bream with street vendors. The stuff here looks fishy, though. <laughs> Something's fishy. Several stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Okay. Museum Delfoncino. Oh, that's a good one. Battles here take Classic. place in the central courtyard of this modern museum. That's from Splatoon 1. That never take made it to Splatoon 2, right? The rotating wall. Oh, that's such a cool stage. Hammerhead Bridge. <laughs> this bridge connects Greater Inkopolis this, to the Splatland. The stage is After cool. Lots of construction sort work, of. It's finally open. But wait, it has Thanks more construction. To the bridge, transit to and from Greater Inkopolis is much easier. Okay, so Mahi wait. Mahi Resort. Okay, that, that one's okay. A luxury resort in Greater Inkopolis. Pay close attention to the platforms that sink as the battle this, this goes This was Splatoon on. 1 as well. There will be more areas to ink afterward, so don't forget to splatter. That was an interesting mechanic in the game. Including the stages you see here. A total of 12 await. Okay, also Wahoo World, Mako Mart, Sir. Okay, yeah, yeah. More so, stages will be added in free post launch updates. So it looks like we got four from Splatoon, four from Splatoon 2, and then four new ones at least. Now, let's get into the inky essence of battles weapons. I find it so hard to commentate because I don't know First, when they're going to be talking. It appears that all <laughs> the basic weapons from previous games will be available. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. On top of that, Flatland specific weapon types, such as the bow like stringers, will make their destructive debut. I, I don't know if I'll be using those. That might We've be too much like. We've also verified a new weapon type oh, called that? Splatanas. <laughs> That's like a katana. Okay, this how does that work? Is the Splatana wiper? 
Oh, that's Send cool. Blades of ink flying with the centrifugal force generated by swinging. That might be really fun. Swing after charging up a bit, and it'll transform into a charged slash. I might. As expected, it's powerful as a long range attack. But the charged oh, wow. slash at close range is also wow. quite devastating. Wow. Okay, I gotta try that out. That's gonna be so cool to try out. Let's dive into the weapons that can help you claim even more. I mean, I, li I like the ink brush and stuff like that, weapons. the octo brush specifically. So that might be really up my alley. I don't know about this As the bow, name but implies, these are special kinds of weapons. Splatana, yes. Unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking turf. All right. So what there is? There are some new types we've identified. That's so like let's a, take a closer look. Oh wow! Look. That's like a multi laser. That's pretty cool. This is the tactic cooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. These have a variety of effects, like momentarily increasing speed. Okay. Make packs of four, so take one and share the rest with your team. And that's a special to like boost your team, this but the, your team has to grab them. Breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll also mark an opponent's location and cause damage. Oh, that's cool. Try to avoid them with a well-timed jump. Oh, you could jump over it, though. <laughs> that's funny, though. Finally, the Reef Slider. Build oh. up power, then charge into opponents who need a good splat. Oh, that's really cool. Ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. I like that. It kind of reminds me of the Kraken. Weapons, like the Tenta missile, oh, no. Those are so jet. annoying. Ink Storm. I love it. I love Ink Storm. For turf, especially. Ultra Stamp. Eh. And Booyah Bomb will also make their grand Okay, return. okay, okay. Those are fine, those are fine. Special weapons are paired with main weapons. So find the combo that suits your splatting style. Triple ink strike's pretty cool. Crab tank, I, I want to see the crab tank in action. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Shop here to get your tentacles on some fresh weapons. Yeah, we're gonna shop this for sure. This is Ammo Knight. Sheldon's back, Owned that's good. Chatty horseshoe crab, Sheldon. The locals I didn't even, have praised him for his wealth of weapon wisdom and I didn't even know, selection. I didn't know he was a horseshoe crab. I just thought he just had Instead a horseshoe crab as a hat. For purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. Okay. Obtain them by leveling up through battles. Right. And by consistently using the same weapons. Okay, okay, that's cool. One Sheldon license can be exchanged for one weapon that corresponds to your level. They just change up the currency system a little bit. That's not a huge deal, I don't think. Oh, and just between us, if you exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. Huh, okay. So, like, if you really want a weapon, you can spend more on it. By the way, the Inklings and Octolings walking around town are pretty savvy about their fashion. For sure. The fashion in this Things game like headgear, is really clothing, elevated. And shoes are just as important as weapons to staying fresh in Splatsville. Heck yeah. I wonder if they have any new attributes. They, they gotta. They can be obtained in the shops around here. Each one is managed by an interesting shopkeeper. So let's drop in. I cannot wait to play this game. This is not Couture, a headgear shop. You'll find an array of hats, masks, and glasses, so you can get ahead of the game. So that this guy is new, right? The Gnar laid back Nautilus, Gnarly Eddie. He's and new. Energetic Nails, the snail sitting here, run the shop. <laughs> Who's that? What? <laughs> this is the clothes boutique, Man no, wait. Wardrobe. This guy is familiar, it specializes right? Specializes in tops. Like T-shirts. I'm having a, I'm having a hard time remembering the characters that were here the before. The shopkeeper, Jell Lafleur. Was he not the? Might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion. I oh, mean, I don't remember their names. And finally, this guy's the new. The shoe store crush station. <laughs> Get Mr. a variety Coco. of cool kicks here, from sneakers to sandals and even leather footwear. It's owned by Mr. Coco. He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy. That jellyfish must be Probably. new too. Probably nice guy. Who knows? You're more than welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance. I'm pretty, yeah. But they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. I'm assuming you can, of course, like before, eventually change those abilities if you really want to. Take run speed up, for example. It can increase your running speed. All right. Or it's cool. It's cool. intensify action. 
This improves the squid roll and squid surge moves. Okay, th that's new. There are even more abilities to discover. I wonder how Plus, you do those control wise. Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. This guy. Is he all grown up? Who is this guy? Talk to Merch here. And Mer and that's you can Merch? Add an ability of your choosing to your favorite gear. Wait. That's Merch? Hold on. What? Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> and if you say he, he, he grew up combinations as fresh as fits, he grew up. You can change in a flash. <laughs> Merch is totally looking different. <laughs> Flavor up your fashion with whatever outfits you want. Simply splat-tastic. That is splat-tastic. Oh, you can what does register fit mean? What is that? Oh, I guess you could save like a preset. All right, so welcome to the lobby, a gathering spot for those seeking fresh battles. Turf war battles aren't the only things that happen here. No. Nope. You can also square off in anarchy battles, where Whoa. you compete for rankings. Okay. Hold the active wait. zones in splat zones. Wait, wait, wait. Anarchy battle? Is that like rank mode now? Ride the tower to the goal wait. in tower control. Wait. Tell me more about anarchy mode. <laughs> Carry the rainmaker to its destination. All right. So far, all these the same. All these the same so far. Or. Collect and okay, well, maybe they'll maybe place. they'll have another mode later. Look it out in these four modes. These are the same are as Splatoon 2. Wanna take on so wait, a challenge win solo? five and triumph, lose Select three, and you're out. Anarchy battle series. That's kind of cool. But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. Okay, okay. You can also play private with friends would be great. Online. Set battle modes and other options to your liking. Why not play with your favorite battle so modes if you can, friends? So if you can play with friends in rank mode, that's going to be a game changer, I think. game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll wait till then. <laughs> so it's got win, like, win, what is it? Win five, whatever, lose three, you, you lose? Or now, I, what did it say? let's talk about the features <laughs> within the lobby. Anyway, that sounds cool. That's a cool way to do it, I think, rather than this just being in a queue forever. range. All right. Try out and get comfy with your weapons here. Yeah. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great place to get all warmed up while waiting for rivals to join a battle. Oh, okay. Next up, ghosts. Ghosts. Online friends will appear as 3D holograms. Okay, that's kind of cool. Drop in on friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. Really? What if it's full? What happens if it's full? You can also join up and start a battle on the same team. Okay, I'm liking this new You'll matchmaking stuff. You'll be able to stuff. see what your friends are up to. So wait, can you... It can... appears that you can also call out to friends in the lobby and invite them for battles. Why not see these features for yourself? I'm confused. Like, how, can you this drop in and spectate? Where you can view battle replays. Oh, that's so cool! It appears that it can somewhat recreate recent battles. That is cool. And if you could zoom in and get get uh, like close-ups and stuff, then you could do thumbnails for videos. That's going to be a game changer or for me skip personally. To a part. This is cool. Or even swap to another player's view. I've been wanting this. Tell me you can. Incredible. Tell me you can move the camera around, though. Not only ah, can you come on! I, tell me you can move the camera. But there's even a share feature. We hope you'll use this handy tool. Dude, that to is so cool. Up. I love that so much. That's one of my favorite features of Fortnite. But I hope you can Next, position the camera to get good we'll thumbnail images. Because that will be a amazing. The absolutely amazing. Room. Here, you'll find some fresh lockers. But even if not, one just just the, the uh, just the replay itself is awesome. Replayed. As you can see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons, gear, what the heck? items to your liking. What? <laughs> Slap on some snazzy stickers. What is this? What? And modify your locker's color. This is your space to express yourself. Okay. So customize it however you'd like to show off your signature splatting how, style. How many lockers do you get? And and also, what was the skateboard? <laughs> oh, yes. Items can <laughs> be obtained at, at Hot Atlantis, a general store on the edge of Splatsville. What Apparently, is this? The store manager vanishes quite often. Uh, Harmony. So instead, it's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. What is Harmony? It's got an outlandish <laughs> assortment of items. <laughs> Why not show the store some love by grabbing some goods? What species is Harmony? <laughs> what did I just see? customization features as well. Okay, I don't quite get the locker when stuff. start, these splash tags appear. Yeah, that's cool. 
They can be customized with a banner, badge, and title. Okay, I'm liking that. That's cool. Additionally, you can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. All of these can be obtained via the in-game catalog, which will be available at Hotlantis. By using points earned from battles, you can unlock various items, like stuff for oh, splash dab. bags and seasonal gear. Finally, I can dab. <laughs> Following the game's launch, oh, seasonal a gear. new catalog is planned to be released uh, every three months that's for two keep, years. That's going to keep me playing. Be sure to snatch up everything you see in each catalog. Oh, I can't miss out. I can't miss out. Oh, boy. Okay. Phew. Ooh. There's still a lot of info to share. I think we're halfway I there. Take a little breather here. Okay, go ahead. I'll I'll commentate. Uh, <laughs> In the meantime, please turn your attention toward this. This is so cool. Uh, so, so some things you know, not too much new new movement. Introducing. Uh, what is this? Table turf battle. What? Lay out your cards for a dazzling deck duel. A new mini game? Think different shapes with different cards. Charge up power, then unleash it all at once with a special attack. This is cool. This this was like a like mobile this, game. And even ones like this, and there are over 150 cards to collect in game. So this build is cool. your deck and send I can't. your rivals packing. Okay, I'm happy with it. This that's so cool. Await your challenge. I love mini games like this. I can't wait to try it. I cannot. Every player will be gifted an in-game starter <laughs> that? deck. That's cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. I lost my. Is, it, is there four players? For there. Or wait, no. That was table what am I looking at? Battle, a one v one competitive card battle. A one v one. Okay, never mind. War. It appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo in Splatsville. That is so Be on cool. The lookout for more details about Table Turf Battle. Man, I love little mini games like this. Oh, I'm probably gonna have and an entire episode dedicated this. to it. I don't even know. Okay, Salmon Run. Salmon Run's back. That's good. Next wave. Okay, Salmon Run's fun. I I, I get a little tired of it after Salmon a while, Run but. Is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmonids advancing on them. This part-time gig is rumored to be a little fishy, but it pays pretty well. By defeating particularly ferocious creatures called boss salmonids, you can obtain valuable golden eggs. Yeah, so this is about the same as before. You'll to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. There's going to be a lot of modes. And of course, don't forget the single-player mode as well. This time around, we've confirmed some new types of boss salmonids. So let's share our findings. What do we got? First up, the Slammin' Lid. Uh-oh. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. Get too close to it, and it it'll attempt to crush you, so approach Oof. with caution. That's how you would get it down, right? Then you can shoot him, right? Next, the Big Shot. <laughs> it fires heavy projectiles from a distance. Shoot him! <laughs> Be prepared for powerful shockwaves when they land. So this is like this shockwave mechanic is in a couple of modes. It's in you know one of the special weapons, and now it also is in here. Dangerous salmon run. Boda met for them. Good job. So Mr. Grizz is back in in the biz. Emergency. What is this? A uh, big fight. This is one of the new king salmon. It's uh -oh. unbelievable. It looks like they'll occasionally appear just before you complete the job. <laughs> That's so cool. They got big boss just before you get to the leave. The tank on your back is a specially provided egg cannon. And it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. Man, that's going to be so fun. However, these battles are under a time limit. So rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. Okay, yeah, that's going to be fun. I might need to return to Salmon Run in Splatoon 2 just to get used to it again. And this, this is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when Salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. What? Wait, what? This event happens once every few months. So brace yourself. Oh, like kind of an event-based. 
So it's like an event-based salmon thing. A return of the mammalian story mode. Okay. Now observe this, this is the story mode. hole in Splatsville Square. Yes. This is actually the entrance to the home of the Octarians, the Inkling's longtime enemies. As Agent 3, the newest recruit of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, you'll do battle with the Octarian army, whose uh, members are Callie covered Maria in back. hair for some reason. Along with your buddy Small Fry, you'll explore many stages, each one full of twists and turns. This game oh, is well developed. Forgot. Story mode Lots is of stuff. perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. So newer players might want to try it out. I mean, all players should try out story mode. It's such a cool thing. Well, we've come this far. What awaits the Inklings and Octolings in the end? We hope you can witness the epic finale of this splatastic saga. Wait, wait, epic finale? Like, is this like the the th third and final game? We're back in Splatsville. <laughs> From here on out, we'd like to talk about other features that'll help you enjoy your splatting escapades even more in the Splatoon 3 game. Okay. You can post illustrations here via this mailbox. Okay, nice. They'll be displayed all across the city and even in stages. This originated with the Miiverse, so of course, on the Wii. Post away. Wii U. Vertical I mean. illustrations will also be supported. Oh, cool. So, like, maybe you can do it on your phone? You can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. Ah, oh, where's, where's the crusty dude? Okay. Or use local communication to play with nearby folks in your favorite modes at the show. Okay, I never deal with, I never do this. By using photo mode, you can snap selfies, send photos to a smart device. Okay. But the thing is, or display them in your locker. Is there a photo mode for the replays? That's what I gotta know. This is the recon guide. Yeah, so you Select can do a recon. Select your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll around them. There's only four Why new stages for now? with each stage prior to battles. That rush is kind of an interesting move mechanic. This is Splatnet 3. Okay. You can use this with your smart device. It what's, contains what's features Wonder like Crest checking store? your latest battle stats. And ordering special in-game gear not sold in shops from okay. the Splatnet gear shop. Yeah, that's cool. But that's not all. Access features like Krusty Sean's Krusty Wonder Sean. Crust. Support this fellow's journey using ink points earned depending on the areas you inked during battles. Okay. Or view history to take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. Okay. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart device. That's so not... be sure to grab them. Can you create your own? It like, I mean, yeah, obviously. Splatnet 3 will be available at launch via the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. Okay, that's cool. Some people use that to voice chat. Next it's up, not me. Amiibo I use Discord. Figures. Oh, yeah. And Splatoon series Amiibo at this spot in Splatsville. And voila! Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as oh, fits will allow you to easily swap that's out That's right. Fits. I've forgotten that's how you save the fits. Okay. Additionally, it seems you'll be able to get special gear and even snap photos together with Amiibo. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool again. The uh, I still have all the Amiibo. Platoon 3 Amiibo incoming. Whoa! They, they have a Salmon Run Release one. Release is scheduled for this holiday. This holiday? Which, which holiday? <laughs> like Christmas? Halloween? No. <laughs> now, let's talk about... Okay, I gotta get those, of course. Updates. I'm gonna get those Amiibo. I can't As wait. As mentioned a while ago, Following Updates. the game's launch, yes. a new in-game catalog will be released every three months for Okay, okay, years. yeah, yeah. There's also going to be Splatfest, new right? New weapons will also be added around okay. the same time as each catalog. Excellent. Love the support. I love games when they release like this. I love, you know, in if addition, they're free. X Battle, available after attaining an extremely high rank uh, in I don't know if I'll battle. ever. I don't know if I'll ever and get that. And League Battle, where okay. every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy Battle results are planned to be added in future updates. I, you know, with with the Further ability more, to do Anarchy with Friends, what will League be for? We're planning to add large-scale paid DLC. Oh, nice. Okay, that's not free, but still. More details will come at a later Probably time. another story so mode or something? Be on the lookout. And now, this I'd like to wrap up this research report from the Squid Research Lab. Thank you for watching. Well, hey, thanks for presenting. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh oh! What is this? What is this? Huh? Who are you supposed to be? 
What is this? We're not supposed to be anything. But I'll tell you who we are. Look at her ears. But oh, you call me Shiver. <laughs> Make money, get fish quick. Big man in the house. Shiver, big man. Oh, wait, who, what, what, I missed the name. Deep cut. Wow. Oh, squid. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly popular trio who right? hosts the Splatsville news program, Anarchy Splatcast. Oh, okay, okay, so new hosts this game. They provide information <laughs> they on battle kinda... stages, as well as <laughs> I don't other know. news bulletins. Okay, so, okay, new, a new host, that's fine. What happened to Pearl Marina? The youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. Oh, that's cool. They can check the news while doing other activities, as shown here. Okay. And there we go. There we go. Splatfest, right? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Splatfests are back in the in the biz, baby. I love. I live for the Splatfests. We do them live on this channel, so I'm excited about it. Got my team coming back. Yashi Mouse and Chibi. Look at these. So that's Shiver and Fry, and then Big Man? So like a trio now? How's that gonna, so weird. He's very shiny. Her eyes are like, I, I don't know, like the, I haven't seen makeup like that. Is she a squid? What? It, I can't, okay, which one's the squid, are they? Her ears are super pointy. I'm curious what species they are. Like, I, 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 I'm not very good at telling. Her eyebrows are also really. All right, all right. Big man. We're just watching a celebration right now. <laughs> it's been confirmed that Splatfest will make a return. Oh, yeah, they better. In these events, you pick a team based on the announced theme. Then right. settle the outcome via battle. Right, perfect. And this time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Three? What? Splatfests consist of two halves. What? In the first half, <laughs> teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. Okay. The second half is a tricolor turf war. What? It's a special mode where, whoa, three teams fight at the same time. Are you, what? All players <laughs> on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. Okay. Can the leading team defend themselves? Or will the other two teams exact revenge and force them out? Use the ultra signal to control the battle and contribute what to the, the heck? Test while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. What? How is this going to work? Okay. I can't believe We're it. We're going to close out this presentation with an announcement from Deep Cut. Take it away. I, do I cannot wait to see how this actually works. It looks like the first place team was on the losing in there. Deep cut. <laughs> she looks, Fry looks so weird. What is Fry? Fry's the name, right? Big man's pretty cool back there. Shiver, Fry. <laughs> Fry has fangs. Like, like just sticking out. Oh, the 27th of this month, we got uh, on a Saturday, the Splatfest World Premiere. What's the Splatfest World Premiere? Players pick one of the three teams to battle it out. Okay, what, 
Three teams, whoa! I know, right? And wait till you hear what the theme is. Drum roll, bada bada bada, rock, paper, or scissors! Okay, so I gotta, I gotta get with my team and figure out which one we're gonna join. We're gonna be doing this on the channel. I cannot wait to bring you videos of this. That is so cool! Okay, this is what I'm excited about. We actually get some gameplay before the release date. <laughs> I, I, forget, I forgot to read what they're saying. She said they broke a rock once. Fry is really weirding me out. <laughs> the eye positioning, like they're angled like differently than I expect. Maybe it's just makeup around them, but the fang is sticking out too. Like, and the big, big elf-like ears. Is she? Man, I, I need to I need to learn the differences physically between the the splatlings and the octolings because I don't know if I can identify who is who. They both have like these triangle eyebrows. Well, clearly, Fry is a splatling, and if you just look at their hair, and and Shiver is an octoling, right? Right? That's what I'm seeing. Maybe so. All right. Well, catch you later. <laughs> all right. That's all we have to share today. Well, hey. Or not. Or not. And now announcing the Splatoon 3 okay, yeah, the Flatlands Invitational 2022 Tournament. Yeah, I don't do that. This event will take <laughs> place on September 5th at PAX West. Okay, well, that's Some cool. Of the top finishers from this summer's Splatoon 2 Inkopolis Showdown will head to Seattle and compete in North America's first ever Splatoon 3 Invitational. Oh, that's pretty cool. Follow the official Nintendo vs. Twitter account for updates. And to see more of our research findings as we uncover them, follow the official Splatoon North American Twitter yeah, account. Yeah, and follow me. Subscribe to me because I'm going to be playing Splatoon 3 on this channel like crazy. Bye -bye. And I can't wait for it. I'll see you next time for more.